Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. The Ten Commandments can not only be a guide for how to live, but also how to vote. The political situation in America and other Western so-called democracies essentially breaks down into two camps. Modernist, progressive, traitorous, agnostic, practical, atheist, humanist, secularists, and God-fearing, family-loving, respecting patriots. Which group do you support? Well, here's where the Ten Commandments can be a big help in figuring out which way to vote. Just look at each commandment and figure out how the modernist, progressive, traitorous, agnostic, practical, atheist, humanist, secularists view it. For example, the first commandment, I am the Lord your God, you shall not have false gods before me. Well, they don't believe in God, unless of course they're referring to themselves. Second, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. They keep it holy by uh, improving their golf games. Third, you shall not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Have you ever heard one of these folks in a casual conversation? Enough said. Four, honor your father and mother. Honor, all they do is euthanize them. Five, thou shalt not kill. Well, let's see. Millions, tens of millions of abortions. God knows how many tens of millions more through contraception and birth control. And yes, by the way, God does know. Oh, and don't forget embryonic stem cells and IVF. Six, thou shalt not commit adultery. This one's a laugher. Destruction of the family, which is the consequence of adultery and every other illicit immoral sexual practice, that's their favorite pastime. Seven, thou shalt not steal. Have you seen their tax policies? Eight, thou shalt not bear false witness against your neighbor. False is their middle name. These folks choke <coughs> on the truth. Nine, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Are you kidding me? They not only covet each other's wives, but husbands, homosexual partners, lesbian lovers. It'd actually be easier and a lot shorter to say what they don't covet. And 10, you shall not covet your neighbor's goods. Uh, again, please reference their version of big government, crushing taxes, and wealth redistribution. Now to be sure, no one political party has exclusive claim to this view of the Ten Commandments. There are some Democratic politicians who actually believe in the one true God. It's just when they get elected, they're overwhelmed by the anti-God crowd in their party, and they usually cave in. We're going to be talking about this a lot more in the run-up to the election. And there are some Republicans who fall into the practical atheist camp who do a great deal of damage. It's just that one party, more than the other, generally tends to despise authentic religion, and the other party is just sort of lukewarm toward it. That's why it's so surprising when so many Catholic bishops and priests are so happy to just fall in line and embrace the party of God-denying, euthanasia-loving, abortion-embracing, birth control and contraception cheering, adultery, welcoming, thieving, lying, pervert, supporting wealth redistributors. Oh, but they do oppose the death penalty and carbon emissions. Which party are we talking about? Well, you do the math. Unless, of course, you attended a public school administered by a school board and teachers union that gives millions of dollars to support this party, in which case, arithmetic might not be your strong suit. You are most likely an expert in social justice and the latest birth control and contraception devices being handed out by Planned Parenthood, but math, eh, not so much. See you at the voting booth, fellow Catholics. God bless you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.